Herbert Harry Stack Sullivan. Good day to everyone. My name is Carla Grace Efetesho, your future psychologist. For today, for today, I represent to you the jury of Harry Stack Sullivan, or also other known Herbert Harry Stack Sullivan. Biographer says that Harry Stack Sullivan will accept the demand of the community of psychologists, but he is suspected of being a homosexual or pinaghihinalaan daw siya na isang homosexual. Homosexual, a person who is sexually attracted to people of their own sex. From now, let's move on to represent to you the short biography of Herbert Harry Stack Sullivan. Harry Stack Sullivan was born in Norwich, New York, on February 21, 1892. Sullivan focused his attention on interpersonal relationships and, in particular, the effect of loneliness on mental health. Sullivan contributed much to the field of psychology through his teachings, his writings, and his leadership. From now, let's move on to tackle the overview of interpersonal theory of Sullivan. The overview of interpersonal theory of Sullivan, it is the process of maturing force of personality. This theory states that the purpose of behavior is for the patient to have his or her needs met through inter interpersonal interactions as will decrease or avoid anxiety or yung mga taong may mga anxiety na para as para sa mga taong para sa mga tao o mga patient na may anxiety para matulungan sila upang ma-decrease or nagamot this picture is the application of the interpersonal theory next we have the tension for the tension it is the alternative Alternative state of euphoria and tension is very much a part of our lives. It arises from two sources, needs and anxiety. For the basic types of needs, those are arise from actual from actual biological needs. Example of um, basic needs is the water, the food, and the air, and etc. Next, we have the dynamism. For dynamism, we have a malevolence, intimacy, lust, and self-system. For the uh, malevolence, um, it is the display of hostility when the tenderness arises. And for the intimacy, um, it's an integrating dynamism that tends to draw out loving reactions from the other person or loving reactions. Um, for intimacy, uh, for intimacy, thereby decreasing the decreasing the anxiety of a one person, anxiety or the loneliness of other person. Or for intimacy, mas para na tutulungan ang mga tao na nakakaranas ng anxiety at loneliness. Tutulungan ito na madecrease or mabawasan kadila pagkalungkot or mga anxiety sa sarili. For the last, is an isolating tendency requiring on no other pers pers person for its satisfaction. It manifests itself as auto-erotic behavior even when another person is. For the self-system, was defined as a unique collection of experiences that was used to describe one's own self. It served to minimize the tension of anxiety. Okay, next we have the personification of Sullivan. For the personification, it is the um, beginning of infancy and the continuing throughout the developmental stage. For the personification, we have a the good mother and the bad mother. For the Sullivan notion, um, the good mother and the bad mother have a similar to clean concept, the bad breast and the good breast. For the bad mother, grows out of the infant's experiences with the bad nipple. That is the nipple that does not satisfy, satisfy hunger needs. Or for the bad mother, it grows out the, the infant's the mother. Um, it based on the tender of and cooperative behaviors of their mothering wife. So we have the me personification. For the me personification, the form of the form the building blocks of the self personification. For the um 
B personification, we have a three personification. The bad me, the good me, and the not me. For the bad me, um, it experiences of punishment and disapproval. Good me, in fans, experiences reward and approval. For not me, severe anxiety causes an infant to experience not me personifications. Bad me, sila yung mga bata na nakakatanggap ng mga punishment or disapproval or mga nakaka-experience. For the good me, ito naman yung mga bata na nakakatanggap or nakaka-experience ng reward. Reward and approval. And for the not me, sila naman yung nakakatanggap ng mga um, nakakaranas ng for not me, ito naman yung mga nakakaranas ng mga anxiety sa sarili or etc. So we have the eidetic personifications. For the eidetic personifications of Saliban, it is the unrealistic traits of imaginary friends that many children invent in order to protect their self-esteem. Um, Saliban believed that um, that the imaginary, imaginary friends may be as significant to, to a child develop uh, an anxiety or the self playmates develop a self playmates of a real playmate playmates um so they even believe that um self imaginary of an of a child okay let's move on to let's move on to the level of cognition um we have the three level. We have the prototoxic level, the parataxic level, and the syntaxic level. The prototoxic level is the early, earliest and most um, experiences of an infant. Um, these experiences cannot be communicated to others. They they are difficult to define or describe. Next, we have the parataxic level. For the parataxic level, it is the experiences are prelogical and usually result when a person assumes a cause and effect relationship between two events that occur occur coincident coincidentally next we have the syntactic level experiences that are consistently validated and that can be symbol symbolically communicated take place on a syntactic level Psychological Disorders Sullivan believed that all psychological disorders have an interpersonal origin and can be understood only with reference to the patient's social environment. He also held that the deficiencies found in psychiatric patients are found in every person, but a lesser degree. Most of Sullivan's early therapeutic work was with schizophrenic patients, and many of his subsequent lectures and writings dealt with schizophrenic.